Welcome back, stranger. If you have... Well, that's not nice. All done. Well, as long as I don't... All done. Well, as long as I don't get... 
Guess that wasn't so hard. What for, Cap? Happy to oblige. All right. Happy to oblige. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Nago, you have truly... Adotella, you go to visit the luminous bathhouse, yes? My satchel. Like a fool, I left it inside. My ship is due to sail from Nekataka with the next high tide. If I do not find it, my casita will surely throw me overboard. Merla, I cannot swim. I would go by myself, but... Uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am a thief. I would rather her not discover my incompetence. I would go by myself, but... Uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. Gelade! You mean it? Agrasi... There is, uh, one thing. Madiko, how could I have forgotten? If you could... Do not open the satchel. The contents are... The information is... Propriety. You understand? When I first saw you, I knew you were a trustworthy sort. I knew. Please, when you find the satchel, meet me at Peddler's Canal in Queen's Birth. I don't kick. Guess that wasn't so hard. Mm-hmm. Huh? What do you need? Hmm? Uh-huh.
Yeah? I got it. You have no right to interfere. In I don't give two pyres for your tribal pride, and I wager that Arkmir cares even less. If this is what passes for Rao Tai in diplomacy, Razanui has bigger problems. If you've come to see Arkhamir, you're too late. He left the estate on wizard business. The wizard got his hands on a Hawana tablet, the Harappo epic. I came to reclaim it for Rawatai. In the middle of my negotiations, this little pest showed up with a claim on it. The Harappo epic belongs to the Huana. The queen sent me to remind you both. Akira, few outsiders can appreciate what such an artifact could mean to our people. Posturing about cultural value is worthless. We both want the tablet for the same reason. There are things better left unsaid. While I'm standing here, you mean? Akira, I don't deny it. A spellcaster, and a damn good one, specializes in hexes and illusions. He and his apprentice run the Dark Cupboard, a local magic shop. I believe that he had dealings with black market treasure hunters. Not that the queen will implicate him. She's too preoccupied negotiating with the warmongers at her door. Arkhamir could be drinking Kawiki wine with dead kings. There's no finding him if he doesn't want to be found. I might as well adjourn to the palace in Serpent's Crown and give Arkhamir time to think. What a load of... <sighs> you mean to get your hands on that tablet with or without Arkhamir? You island rats can barely write your own names, much less a distinguished epic. Scamper back to the Brass Citadel and spin your own plots. I will happily do the same on my side of the island. I suppose I can spare a moment. I help finance expeditions around the Isles, which often means keeping an ear to the ground. Not very romantic from behind a desk, but Rawatai's campaign could use the extra coin. I heard tell of Efren, a thief with a penchant for making house calls. Word has it that Ifrin made his way inside of Arkhamir's manor and later died. Now his soul is bound to the fortune-telling machine in the dark cupboard. A strange fate. All of her pretenses of cultural pride are a means to an end. Like the rest of the Hawana, she isn't above exploiting any advantage if she can profit from it. As you say, That flaccid bazzo! Imp, you had none of that, huh? That's what I thought. What am I going to do? Think, Fasina. My postenago of a... of a lover stole Rokawa's fingers. The master will kill me if I don't get them back. He must have wanted to raise some fast coin. Arkhamir will flay me alive over those damned gloves.
He said that he's in debt to our Altaian captain by the name of Hamuto Stonehill. By all accounts, a deadly serious man. Is it strange? I don't know. Go consult Archimedes Grimoire if you're that curious. Not that it's any of your business, but Berteno used to spend a lot of... late nights here. I got into the Construct's guts and marked off Berteno as a safe visitor, so they would not attack him. And before you ask, no, I will never do this again. You do not know Arkamir, do you? He is as cheap as a Wodican clerk. Whatever he loses from those gloves, he will take out on me. So you will? If you are expecting some payment or reward, I do need to keep this under wraps. You look capable. While I am stuck behind this counter, I am in no position to refuse help. A discount goes without saying. You're saving me a world of trouble by doing this. I, I do not know where Berteno fences his goods, but he mentioned an appointment at the Brass Citadel docks. Hamuto Stonehill must be as dangerous as he sounds, or... Looking at this the wrong way, lad. Like she be someone else inside your head. Putting those cipher skills to work, aren't we? The pair of you share a soul. One and the same. She be your feminine side. Or mayhaps you be hers. And both of us are equally capable of putting your snooping nose where it belongs. I see you brought your pain, but you need come to ease it. Pity. Ah, oh, you poxy old salt. Spill what you know for we spill your guts. Seraphon. Romaro described you pointedly. He told me that you would come where you in danger. Danger? Nay, not I. I do seek him, though, and I feel that he needs me. Feel it in the deep depths of my furry fun sack. If you care for him, you'll be telling me what you know. He bade me not tell anybody of his plans, ye included. He's left this area, a fear to the danger he fetches on those near to him. He's the nearest thing I got to kin. Why didn't he trust me? He did trust you. He trusted you wholly, I'll tell you and trust you to go on best wit to make of the conning. Romaro treated me as galleon for mine clipper. A stuggy trade, surely, but he insisted that he needed the speed. I can't tell you what he intends, but he set sail for Sayuka, intending to replenish there. That's everything I con, for whatever good it does you. He gave up the sorcerer? And for what? An elven clipper? Makes as much sense as Doug's on a drake cap. He'd be easy catchings for any freebooter after his eye. Yeah, that salted cockfast be the biggest threat, sure as shit. But others will want that bounty too. Not to mention a favour comes with it. Aye, right, Cap, you've read my mind. And here with me thinking that were my skill in particular. Uh, thank you mightily, lass. Enjoy the baths. Self travels. The wages of war catch ye up soon or sign. I 
hope we haven't spent too much time in the baths. Oh, but it feels as if we just arrived. I've already spoken to the steward. We're not to be disturbed. I am helping Herwina to conceive. She came all the way from the Deerwood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman, and my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. Is that true? Do not listen. Luminous Audra is the life of the Deadfire. It can bring life to you, I say. Oh, all right. Maybe just... What are you... Get out! Never. Come along, Trinket. The cost of enjoying the bathhouse's unique offering is 1,000 copper per session. I mean, if we've all got to get naked, we've got to get naked. I don't see the point of this. We're just going to get dirty again when we go back outside. For someone who talks so much, you seem to care about very little. Oh, apologies, lad. Didn't realize we'd be only ever speaking of subjects deep and meaningful. Oh, don't strain yourself on my account. Beat it. 
I don't have time to chit-chat. Fasina sent you, didn't she? Postenago, just for these. Soft as down, but not a single fence willing to pay me a fair price. Maybe they've got imp stink all over them. Should have guessed these were bad luck. Well, it's too late to go making smart decisions, isn't it? Here he comes, and I'm too late. If Hamuto doesn't give me an extension on my debt, I'm a dead man. So, Berteno, you hired a mercenary, or else a negotiator. That coin should have gone toward your debt to me. Huh? No, I didn't. Uh, that is, uh, I would never go behind your back. I... I like dealing with people of substance. This is a private matter. Your interference is unnecessary. Indentured servitude. I trust this is a more honest and respectable alternative than any pursuit he would take on his own terms. <sighs> Be calling it whatsoever you like, Captain Cogswallow. But your honest and respectable slavery be slavery all the same. Your toy pirate speaks out of turn. I would teach him a lesson if I were you, Captain. I salute you for your courage, but I ask you to reconsider your position. Cowards! There will be a reckoning for I know each one of your faces. My friend, look around you. We stand in the shadow of the brass citadel, not some Valian den. Raise your fist and the full force of Rawatai's armada will descend on you. Or back away and live to fight again. You, look alive. My friend here needs a lesson in humility. I've got all sorts of goods and supplies. Take a look before you take a look. Aye, aye. Ella, a moment. 
I saw you speak to my dear Amico Degnos. So I thought to myself, why, Talfor, you must meet her too. I am wounded. <laughs> but what did you think of its contents, Quay? Have you had the unique pleasure of meeting Aveta? Degnos would not be the first to abandon her crew. A little revenge would not be amiss, I think. It is not revenge on Aveta I want, but her cargo. We'll spare her, so long as she surrenders, of course. If she seeks a fight, who am I to refuse her? A shame, then, that you will not live to hear them. Tread cotton. Of course, darling. Oh, that's easy. Is that all? Where is my seal? Postinago, did you take it again? You will feel the bite of the cat's tail if you have lost it, boy. Who would dare speak to me thus? Is this Nazanali a friend of yours, Degnos? An acquaintance only, Casita, from the Luminous Bathhouse. First you waste my servant's time, and now you have the gall to waste mine as well. It is impolite to go through other stings. Your manners are atrocious. Were you raised in a barn? I do not doubt you found their conversation quite engaging. Ah, uh, that is not... um... Casita, please do not. Que? If you told me a few years ago that I'd end up following you on another crazy errand, I'd have said you were out of your mind. Not because I got anything against you, more that... trouble seems to come looking for you wherever you go. Yet, here we are again, probably on our way to die. And wouldn't you know it, this time is shaping up to be crazier than the last one. But I gotta say, I appreciate how you've handled things. Times like these, staying decent's not as easy as it sounds. Not that I don't got questions about your moral fiber, but you've surprised me. Now, there's something to that. 
I like to think I'm the same way. Except I chose to believe in the goodness of a giant statue that kills everything it passes. Sometimes I have second thoughts about that. I've been meaning to ask, though. How is it you never seem to lose your way through all that? What is it tells you you're on the right path? Well, hard to argue with that. And I might get some strange looks at... When I was a boy, things were simpler. Aethys was more like a character we read about in church. Yeah, I guess it, well, most stories had him helping folks or making the world work as it should. You pray to him, he might help you too. There was no cost to it. No confusion about his will or followers taken into extremes. Following Aethys was right. Had no reason to question. Do you think there's any way that following him could still be the right path? After all we've seen? I guess we'll see what he has in store soon enough. If we make it that far. Anyway, I didn't mean for this to get depressing. I think this was just a long way of saying... I appreciate the way you've guided things. Makes me feel like I'm doing some good, going with you. It is a pity you let him escape. He will be found. I will make it so. I did not think he had the stones. And now I will never know the extent of his sabotage. Trade routes, partners, cargo. Anyone may know them now, Merla! But you have saved my life. Agrasima, for your trouble. Your intervention has given me much work to do. Leave me to my tasks. Of course. Mm -hmm. You've got it. Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain? Sea is true home. Not what you want. Sprout wings like him, pa. Huh? Fly up to balcony. The doors are for ground meat. Eh. Archimir doesn't, but Arch so worthless idiot watches the ships come. How often you beat your crew, huh? No, I join. You're back. 
Kue, any news? A cozy. What? I sent you to fetch a pair of gloves. Kue, did Berteno trip and fall on his sword? I should have handled this myself, and now look what happened. What of the gloves? What happened to them? At least I know Arkemir won't feed me to the imps. Take your discount as well. If the cupboard doesn't make its goals, so be it. I am the apprentice. What he made... I think it's because he knows I hate them. Ah, I can... To me, he's the br... Do you look for something? What can I do you for? Sure thing. Happy to dim in the lantern. Maybe just this one. Why master need bucks? Go for the eyes! Moe, Ixi, Alna! Tread cautious. <laughs> Have some Let's of this! this world You're going to die! Call me more than half handy, you are. Looks complicated. I've got an oh! <laughs> Mo Ixie Arna. Tread cut. Go for the other. Huh. Oh, did that hurt? <laughs> How do you like that? Oh, oh, that it's hurt. not very oh. helpful. Oh. Huh. You're going to die. You're going to figurehead. Futile. This thing isn't doing the job. Beyond the sea. I can't hardly see some of this. I'll put a dent in it. 
What can I do you for? I've got a letter with your, your name on it. That was about as useful as a bum on a pickle. I hear you. I guess that wasn't so hard. Well, as long as I don't kick. I guess that wasn't so Look at that, mate. All right, but I'm all done. I see the wits in the ice. Dark frog in the figurehead. Oh, 
Keeping with I guess I wasn't so hard. My turn. You've got it, mother. Mayhaps we should have brought more back. Here. My turn. Already then. What? We here. My turn. Oh. My turn. This would be so much easier if I... Hey. All right, but I'm keeping with... All done. Of course. Well, as long as I don't kick... I guess I wasn't so hard. Well, as long as I don't kick... All done. I guess I wasn't so hard. Akira, we meet again. Akira, you've restored to us a piece of our history. The Queen thanks you, my friend. We are a step closer to... Hey, you the Watcher? Try being friendlier. Make more friends that way, stinking ground meat. Arkamir, the great master, has returned. Invites you to join him at the estate. Says you know where that is. Eh? But whoever has time, you have to make time. Find master in his study. Don't be late. Well, that was faster than I anticipated. I had hoped for more time to work with the Queen on her formal apology, 
but I will have to accelerate our plan. Thank you again, truly. This may be our most meaningful step towards Ukaizo. We just have to pray that Archimere doesn't put hexes on its belongings. Ah, oh, well, it's a sensitive matter, is it not? The Huana and the Royal Deadfire Company are hardly the only ones with an interest in the island. It pays to maintain some discretion. I'll be a thrice blessed Raid Seren saint if this ain't on account of your ferreting through that man's unmentionables. Gemstones of... I trust you had no trouble finding the place. Nekitaka is either a testament to the ancient Huana's love of labyrinths, or their hatred of straight lines. That depends entirely on you. I warn you to stay your hand, and treat with me better than you did poor Consulot. But let us get to the business of the hour shall we? My estate was recently burgled. My vault breached. How very pleasing to hear an honest admission. At the Circle's behest, I'm expected to show restraint in these dealings. If you imagine that imp blood is easy to remove from carpet, I invite you to clean up after yourself. I am less pleased about the Harappo epic resting in the hands of those who lost it once before. Did I ask a question? The Circle of Archmagi wishes for us to put this unpleasantness in the past with a gesture of good faith. The Circle has expressed concerns about a certain mobile deity. The Deadfire is a fragile place, and a blundering soul drain like Aethus can damage more than just castle keeps. Use a modicum of your imagination. It isn't our desire that you apprehend the deity. That simply isn't practical. We need your help in preparing for the worst possible outcome. Normally, the Circle's involvement constitutes the worst possible outcome. Or have you already forgotten the Blackwash Falls incident? Kalakoth replaced the water. What more do you desire? An apology? Pfft, we do not worry. We measure, and the resulting value dictates action. You are only involved because it is advantageous for knowledge of the Circle's involvement to remain discreet. The wizard Bikana installed an observatory due northeast of Nekataka. For your absolution, the Circle asks that you locate her research. Were the spoils of my estate too meager? Absolutely not. Fair warning, a vessel flying the sigil of the torn bannerman set a course for the observatory. I have every reason to believe they travel armed. Come back alive, or well, not at all. Now, nah, and they household staff to re. You 
look thirsty. A drink, madam? See one Oh, all right. Maybe just the careful. There's something there. Of course, darling. Scallywag. 
too tall. Tomorrow would be half hard at this side of this. Weren't a story didn't notice, Sailboy. Again you interrupt my plans, and again I am forced to compensate. One such offense was inexcusable, your very presence, an abomination. Few things delight me more than slamming the proffered door on the usher's hand. Whatever beginner's luck won you the day at Cragholt has expired. Fate brought us here to correct its error. Rather cocky for a man with no... skin. Then I'll borrow some of yours. Describe a spell that shrinks ears. If the Circle sent you to interrupt my research, I'll fashion a scarecrow of your remains to deter their next hapless victim. You would have done better to submit and wilt under my power. I've marked my task. I've got an arrow with your name on it.
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's easy. Watcher, ask them if they got a model depicting hail. I get one such offense was in few whatever rather than I. If the circle sent you to interrupt my, you would have done. I've marked my target. Oh, damn it. Oh. 
You're going down! Gava, I'm not you're leaving you here to die! Oh, I got an arrow with your name yeah. on it! Lava, the old secret! You're going down! Frog in the figurehead. Future. Oh, oh, put a dent in it. Hit my mark. Ah, oh, it would have been a dog or Didn't you're going down? Lava, the only need something stronger. Yes, I got an arrow. Your name is Leak. Hey. Good thinking. Oh, good. Maybe just this one. What do you need? Is that all? I trust you. Yes? Lava rule beyond sea. <laughs> How may I help? Of course. Clever. Like you could use some fresh air. Oh, all right. Maybe just. If I don't survive our adventures, promise me you'll burn all.
Hey! Hey, you! Master waits for you by glowing pool downstairs. Indeed. 